from Czech Republic and I was born in a Christian family. I get used to go to the church every Sunday and I get the education from my parents and uh, I can say everything uh, began there because I believed in the God. When I graduated secondary school, I started uh, singing. I started to study singing in conservatory for six years. And after I graduated there, I worked as a teacher in music school. I was working with children since six years old till 15. And after that, I came to abroad. I worked as a volunteer and then uh, nowadays I'm working as a nurse in retirement house. The first time when I met uh, with Islam was 11 September 2001. I didn't have any information about it, I just heard that word for many times in TV. Uh, that's it. Then when I was 17, uh, I went to Morocco for vacation with my family. And it was the first time when I met personally with Muslim people. And I learned that uh, they are normal, uh, like us. And there is no worries. Then I wasn't interested with Islam at all. I just, um, I was sure that uh, they have their own religion, I have mine. But in the same time, I was searching myself. Um, I didn't agree with uh, Christianity, with uh, their opinions, with the way what they follow. Um, but I was sure that I believe in God that time. And then uh, when I was more than 20, around my 24th year, I started to hang out with foreigners thanks to Erasmus Plus projects. And I met uh, more Muslims around me. And the time I started basic conversations about that topic, we started to compare Christianity with Islam and I get my first education there and I uh, seriously started to think about that I should maybe I should start read Quran I should uh, learn more about that maybe you wouldn't believe me <coughs> but when I was 11 I had a dream and I saw myself uh, in the dream and group of people coming in front of me. Uh, and the first person is a man and I cannot uh, look into his eyes, uh, to his face. I cannot recognize because it's shining that much. I cannot understand what's going on. But women are close heads and they giving me uh, the same clothes and asking me if I want to be the same with them. And I immediately accepted. I felt like I want to be part of something that much beautiful. And that time uh, the man said the sentences and I should repeat. And when I uh, study uh, shahadat uh, before I revert Islam. I remember that moment and I remember I had a dream about my shahadat. How is that possible? It was one of the first signs, what I remember in my life. Then um, when I was in university with my friends, I just hang out normally in the room and I needed charger. I asked my friend, can you, do you have some charger? Can you bring me that charger? And he left to his room and he came with the book and with charger. And he said to me, uh, my old roommate 
forget, forgot that stuff in my room. Do you want it? And I look, and it's Quran. And that time I didn't have any mm, feelings, some positive feelings to Islam. But I saw the book is a little bit burnt, and I felt mm, ashamed why somebody did it to the book. And I keep it, and I still have that book with myself. Then I lived in a home with roommates. They had Quran in the home. I never read it. But every time it was coming to my eyes. In the beginning, I was a little bit angry to myself. Why I didn't see the truth <laughs> earlier now, how I told you before. Um, I believe that everything has the true time. And uh, I just wasn't ready that time. Maybe if I read Quran earlier, uh, I wouldn't understand it. I wouldn't, it wouldn't affect me in that way, in a good way. Sometimes people ask me uh, if it was hard for me to uh, change, com completely change the religion. And I can say yes, also no. Uh, the biggest fight was inside of me for a few weeks, the first weeks. I wasn't sure if I follow good way. I, I was so much confused. Many, many things happened inside of me. Uh, I felt in my heart uh, there is Allah, but I was growing up in a Christian society. So changing religion is something really bad. And then when I become more sure what is the true thing for me, because I keep going on reading Quran, then everything was easy, I can say. It wasn't that much big change for me. Mm. I think the religions are so much similar, based on similar things. Uh, so uh, I live still same. I just uh, find what more fits to my life. I didn't have to. I didn't have to sacrifice something in my life for for changing religion. The breaking point was when I burned out inside of me. I was completely down. Um, I was searching some support. Um, I couldn't get it from people. So I searched it in uh, in religion and I was aware about it I believe in God but I didn't feel uh, the God in my heart and uh, when I get lost completely even more I needed feel uh, the God inside of my heart and that time when I was completely lost um, we opened it the, the topic about uh, Islam and Christianity. We started to talk uh, about that uh, religions. And when I get the first information about Islam, something, um, it's something burned inside of me, some passion, some interest. And I follow that interest. And um, it I felt that I should read Quran, what I mentioned before. And the breaking point was uh, that I listened that voice inside of me. I read the Quran and with first words, Al-Fatiha, I believe. I believe. The first of all, my friends. But um, society um, around me told me you cannot trust them, you don't know them that much, you know them for a short time, maybe they 
behave you in a good way here in your country, maybe in their country they behave completely different. Uh, luckily, that time I get opportunity to join the project uh, in Turkey uh, against Islamophobia and thanks, uh, thanks to this project I found I found contact, I get information, I get the opportunity to meet with Imam in Trabzon and he answered my first question and it really helped me there. Uh, they support me, uh, they show me the way how I can educate myself. They suggested me some books. Uh, in the other hand, uh, I had a boyfriend next to me and he was ready to answer all of my questions. And uh, yeah, so I can say from people uh, who are close to me and from books. Uh, the last time I can mention internet because uh, in the internet there are many informations but it's so much confusing. You don't know what to choose, what you can believe, what is um, based on truth. I missed uh, Allah in my heart. I felt only one time when I was 14 years old. Um, that time something happened. Um, I don't want to describe the situation, it's unnecessary. But the most important is that I felt it inside of my heart and I was sure Allah exists. And I can feel it, but then I couldn't feel anymore. Even I did everything for it. I prayed, I went to the church, I tried to live good life. I didn't feel it in my heart. And that's what um, influenced me to the good way in the end. Till the moment when I read Quran for the first time, I didn't feel it one more time. Just when I was 14, and when I started to read. Of course, I had doubts. In uh, one side, I understand them, I respect them. Uh, they have their own religion. If they don't disturb me with uh, that information, I have no problem. In the other hand, uh, I was affected so much by uh, medias, newspapers, social media, what is in TV. So I had the doubts. I was afraid a little bit. And uh, after I revert, um, I changed completely, of course, my opinion. Otherwise, I wouldn't revert. I learned that uh, this religion is based on love and respect, not about aggression. I changed emotionally a lot. I become more sensitive, um, maybe more label but in the same time more stronger because I know where to find help. Um, it changed me I'm trying to more understand people around me. Accept I um, I become more empathy empathetic and it fixed my relation, it fixed my relation with family. The first reactions. It was really slow process. I was giving um, little information every time. I 
didn't want to scare them. But my best friends around me, they accept me immediately and they gave me braveness, I can say. But it's different if you should, if you must say uh, something that much important about you to your friends or to your family. So it took really long time uh, when I share it with my parents and um, mashallah they accept me but I, I spent uh, every day with praying for this moment I was really scared um, in the end the first family person with who I share that information was my sister and she accepted everything immediately she told me uh, that she can see already the change on me, on my behavior, uh, that she can see I am happy, I am a better person, let's say, and uh, there is no change for her, I am still her sister, and I don't have to be scared uh, of telling the truth to my parents. Then. I continue praying and I collect all braveness and when I return, bra return back from abroad to my country I, I share everything in true time and they accept me. I love many things. Uh, the first of all, Quran. Uh, when I listen those words, those letters, it touching directly my heart and my soul. I love it. Every time when I listen Ezan, I feel tears in my eyes. I feel grateful. Uh, many feelings appear inside of me that time. Also, I realize how much close I was to choose the wrong way. So, for sure. It be, mm, Quran, Quran words uh, giving me every day motivation and many other feelings. Read, read, read Quran. Uh, because Allah talking to us in this book. This is the first conversation what we can start with him. Just respect each other. Try to live in peace together. Doesn't matter what you believe, doesn't matter which color uh, which color is your face. Just try to live in respect next to each other and everything will be okay that time.